Today we're going to be talking about the Demon Souls remake. So, uh, what I like to do with these quick note videos is just kind of give some context about how I played the game and all that jazz. So, as you may be able to see, this is the PS5 version of Demon Souls. I've never played the original Demon Souls game, and I don't really intend to. I think I would play it like the first level, maybe, like, just to kind of see how it true, how different it is, or just how, uh, I guess almost just kind of like a culture shock kind of thing, but I really don't intend to ever play it on purpose. If I ever get the chance, perhaps, but at this point, probably not. So with that being said, I really won't be comparing the original Demon Souls to this PS5 remake. From what I understand on them internets and all that kind of thing, uh, they they actually did a pretty good job of not changing a lot of things. They may have changed a couple of things. Someone else would be a uh, better uh, guide to like the changes that they made of the OG Demon Souls compared to this Demon Souls. So I'm not really going to touch on that. I'm just kind of going to talk about it almost from a game perspective. And I guess comparing it to uh, the Dark Souls games and Bloodborne uh, is what I plan on really kind of comparing and contrasting today. Uh, hopefully pretty briefly because there's some stuff that I liked, uh, some stuff that was alright, and some stuff that I just didn't really like at all. So for the good stuff, obviously, as you can see, the graphics are fantastic. They looked very beautiful, very pretty. You can definitely see uh, the graphical power of the PS5 in this game, and just kind of the next-gen consoles, if this is where we're going, we're in for a treat. And I guess I'm going to go back on what I said, uh, but I guess I can't directly compare. But I assume that they've updated the controls and the mechanics, uh, either making them a bit faster or just a bit more fluid or something like that. So uh, it feels good. It feels like a. Uh, it feels closer, a, a little closer to Dark Souls 3 and just kind of Dark Souls in general. It is still clunky in some areas and like just kind of feels slow almost, but it doesn't feel too bad. I've. Uh, really come to enjoy uh, Demon Souls for what it what it is. The stuff that I kind of found all right. The main thing is really just kind of the boss fights, uh, and specifically the uh, gimmicky boss fights where you have to do something specific, and it's not actually. I shouldn't say based on your skill, but it kind of seems to be more about doing a specific thing at a specific time. Uh, for example, there was uh, this one demon god, I think that's what they called him, don't remember specifically, but um, you, had, you didn't actually fight him, you had to go and hide uh, behind pillars every time he looked in your direction to eventually then make it to like this giant... Uh, just kind of uh, gun almost like this uh, bow and arrow almost like a giant scorpion arrow um, and you had to hit him in both shoulders and then attack him when his head came down and that was like the whole boss fight didn't matter how many how much damage you're uh, you're outputting or how much health you have because he will pretty much just one shot you but uh while it was interesting, the gimmicky boss fights like that aren't necessarily my favorite. I would have preferred kind of just like the old, like, uh, the dark, I prefer the Dark Souls approach to bosses. Like, there might be like a slight challenge or a twist or something to be aware of as you're fighting the boss, but nothing uh, gimmicky like that. And the last thing uh, that I'm going to go over in this video is just kind of obviously the bad as I mentioned at the, at the top of this video. Uh, the, there was some bad stuff that I am really glad that they removed that they have removed for uh, the Dark Souls uh, Bloodborne uh, type games after Demon Souls. There's two main things. One is, uh, oh sorry, three main things. One is the grass to heal. I'm glad that they switched to the Estus Flask, strictly because while you can farm more grass and, and in theory, infinitely farm all of it, uh, it was kind of super annoying because if you make a couple of runs at a boss, for example, or uh, an area, and you're just not dropping grass, you have to stop what you're doing 
go to some place that you know where you can farm it and then go farm it which it's it just kind of breaks the flow of the game itself versus in dark souls when you die and you get transported back you instantly have all of your healing items that you had for the last boss fight which in my opinion is a better system i think while this system of having infinite yet finite amount of grass is interesting and um I would have, like, it, it's an interesting mechanic that they used for this compared to uh, Demon Souls. I'm glad that they took it out. Second is the world tendency. Now, <laughs> I really didn't even know this was truly a thing up until, uh, like, I would say probably about halfway through the game. It's just like, oh, it feels like I should be able to go on further, but I'm just not able to because it seems like there's just something blocking my way. I wonder how you unblock it. And just in an attempt to not, like, I don't want to say spoil, but spoil my playthrough and uh, not look up everything on, like, a Demon Souls wiki, I decided to try to uh, figure it out for myself, but then at one of these points where the world tendency has to be white, I there was a message in front of it that said white tendency only, and so I was like, okay, so what the hell is that? And so then I finally went onto the wiki and looked it up online, wherever it was, I was like, oh, naturally. So, like sections or items of the game are just blocked behind a certain world tendency now as i understand it there's stuff that's blocked behind a black tendency and stuff that is uh hidden behind a white world tendency the more that you die the more that it turns black and i really don't know how you go back to turning it to white and that's a little annoying slash frustrating as you can imagine because if you're already if you're already at in the white world or the if you're already trending towards black world tendency apparently like enemies become more difficult as well so it's a weird mechanic that just seems um, a lot more punishing to the player itself and uh, I once again I am very happy that they uh, removed this concept in future Dark Souls games. The last thing, and I don't want to complain too much about this, but it's something that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and I'm glad that they adjusted it in future iterations of the Demon Dark Souls games, and that is the grind for upgrade material. Now. I under, like I can get behind a grind any day. Like if there's just something that you have to grind through, I understand that. I get that. But for this game specifically, there are so many different upgrade materials and upgrade uh, rocks and stuff like that. That and if you're trying to do something specific, you're gonna have to grind a long time. I probably spent a couple hours trying to grind for this specific. Uh, type of stone and like I said it took hours uh, according to a wiki that I found online for this certain stone to drop it said uh, 200 plus runs uh, it was the average for players to get this specific stone to drop and that's even with you know luck boosts and all that stuff so Needless to say, I was a little frustrated and it was getting super annoying trying to grind for to get this specific stone. And like I said, I can understand and even enjoy a good grind every once in a while, but this seemed a little excessive. In previous in, uh, Dark Souls games, uh, you really only have two main upgrade material, as far as I'm aware of, that I know of. Um, so I'm glad that they really simplified it down to be able to like make these easy, easy upgrade paths instead of uh, just this kind of grind for a specific path if you wanted it. So with that being said, this is the end of the video and uh, I would love to know what you guys think. Uh, how, like, how did you feel about Demon Souls? What did you guys think? Have you played the original? Did you only play the PS5 version? Any all... And, uh, 
any and all comments uh, I would love to hear from you down below and if you like this video remember to hit that thumbs up and also if you really liked it uh, consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you know when I post new videos new shorts uh, I've been saying this forever but hopefully I will attempt to get back into streaming but we will see how that plays out but regardless thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video